Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have everybody's favorite kind of video. Today is going to be a competition. So today I have got the brand new, well you know what, I say brand new, they've already come out with three more because Hush is on top of their game. But I have got the Aura palette from Shop Hush. You can get the app on your phone or you can go to the website either way. Uh, this is a dupe, but I'm about to show you what for. It runs you $12 if you got it on the day it released like I did because I'm a sucker for all things Hush and I know that I love their products. It was $10. <clears throat> so here is the palette and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to give you five seconds to guess what this is a dupe for. Y'all ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Did you guess it? I'm going to guess you probably did, but if you didn't, it is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. Um, let me put these side by side or one on top of the other rather so that y'all can see just how similar these two palettes are. Now, these are dupes, and as always with these videos, I mean no shade to ABH. It's one of my favorite brands. I adore my Prism palette. If you go back a few videos, videos, your girl can't talk, you will see that I did a really in-depth tutorial with my Prism palette. I absolutely adore it. I take it with me when I travel. It's a great palette. But like I always tell you as well, um, their palettes are about $42 a piece, just depends on the palette, but typically it's $42. It's not a really bad price point. It's amazing quality. Do not get me wrong when I say this, but if you can't afford to drop $42 every time ABH comes out with a new palette, why not spend $10 and get the exact same color scheme? And we're about to see if it is the exact same quality as well. So... <clears throat> As we know with all of my competitions, it is up to you guys to guess which eye is my high end and which one is the dupe. So I'm going to give you five seconds on that too. So I'm going to close my eyes and in the comments I want you to write whether you think that the high end is my left eye or my right eye. So left or right. You got five seconds to pick. Y'all ready? Okay, so this is the look I came up with. I wanted to do a purpley orange kind of feel. These are some of my favorite colors in the palettes. I always use the oranges in my crease, but I'd actually not really dug into that purple shade yet in my prism palette, but it's so gorgeous. I just had to try it. So if y'all are ready, I'm going to pop some swatches up on the screen. And uh, once that's done, we are going to go straight into voiceover mode and take a look at this tutorial and see if you guessed the right eye or the left eye. <laughs> so uh, let's get to those swatches. We're going to get straight into this tutorial. See y'all in a second, guys. Okay, guys, so y'all know that I kind of suck at swatches, but here we go. We have got the Prism palette on the top, and we have got the Aura palette on the bottom. And if you can see, these are all super comparable. The colors are basically the same. Actually, some of the ones on Aura are a little bit more vibrant. And uh, they're a little chunkier on some right here and right here. Aura is just a little bit chunkier on this purple. But not too bad. <clears throat> So these are all the colors. These are all one swap swatches. They all look really good. They're all really pigmented. This color is a little off and this one's a little off. These two shimmers right here. But other than that, they're all basically identical. So yeah, those are the swatches. Now it's time for the tutorial. 
Okay, guys, time for the reveal. It was my left eye that was the high end. Shocker, shocker. So I'm just taking the tan shade in the palette and laying it down to set my MAC paint pot that you know I put on there first. It's Unity. And that was just me showing you there's a little bit of fallout, but nothing too crazy. Then I took Dream Stay out of the Aura palette and did the same thing on my right eye. So the right eye is the dupe. And the left side is the high end. Whoop, whoop. Dupe looked pretty good, don't y'all think? So then I went in with Eden. It is kind of a peachy color, and I took that all in my crease. This is what I typically do when I use the Prism palette. Um, and to do this look, I took two really similar Morphe brushes, used a different one for each palette to work in my crease, and just used the same brush the whole time. I wanted to be sure, as always, to give both palettes an equal opportunity. Then I took Awakening out of Aura, and I did the same thing, just putting that all in the crease on my right eye. Just making sure that it looked as similar as possible and blending and blending. Um, this palette is super pigmented. It was really easy to blend and super easy to work with. So then it was time for my next crease color. I went into Saturn in the Prism palette and put that in my crease just a tiny bit lower down to give me a little bit of an ombre effect, but just to deepen it up like I always do. This is what I did in my sunset tutorial as well. And I just blended and blended and did my best to get everything to look seamless and brought it down into the outer corner just a little bit to uh, draw everything together. Then I went into Mystique in the Aura palette and did the same thing, um, just like with the other shade. This blended so well, and it just, it was seamless. And I brought it down into my outer corner, exactly the same. Then I wanted to deepen things up a little bit more, so I went into Parallel. That is the beautiful chocolate brown in the Prism palette. And I just put that mostly in my outer corner. <laughs> you saw me slip up. I almost went to the wrong eye. But I put that in my outer corner and tried to blend it out really well. Brought it over a little bit in my crease. And this is literally just for dimension. And yes, if you want, you can judge my faces when I get into blending sometimes. My face just does what it wants. And there was a little fallout on my face, but it wiped off with no issue. Then I went into Vibe with the Aura palette and the same drill. This actually blended a little bit easier. Um, it was just easier to make it look like it was supposed to go there as opposed to there being like random brown. And I felt like it deepened the look up a lot better. So then I went into Dimension in the Prism palette with my finger. And y'all, this purple is so pretty. Like... The metallics and the glitters from ABH are always gorgeous, but I love this one. It took a few little coats, but I got it on there. Then I took Lucid, that's kind of the almost hollow shade, and I just put that in my inner corner. And also took it on my brow bone, just to add a little bit of highlight. So then I brought up the Aura palette, and I went into Ethereal. And I put that <clears throat> on my lid, and y'all, that pigment was immediate. Like, I didn't have to go back over it or anything crazy. Like, it was just there. And then I took Phenomenal, which is just like Lucid, a little bit hollow. Stuck it in the inner corner and the brow bone. Then, <clears throat> then I went on my lower lash line, and I took Eden, the orange shade, and Parallel, and I just put those on that lower lash line just to tie everything together. And then I went in on my other eye, and I took Awakening, Mystique, and Vibe, and did the same thing just to make the eyes match up. And I always do this super quick and just use whatever was in my crease just so everything kind of goes together. And Dimension just wasn't up to par and I wanted it to be a little bit harder to guess which one was the dupe and which one was the high end. So I went back in with a, another coat of Dimension. 
then I got off camera, finished up everything, and now I'm back here making my dumb model faces, like always. That is the end of today's look tutorial review and competition. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you got it right on which eye was the high end. And uh, I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye.